questions, please, on the shear force diagram? Everybody on the same page? It's quite nice, isn't it? We don't need to do any calculations. I mean, if you started doing method of sections, that is the only thing you'd be doing in an exam. Okay, we'll be cutting it here, we'll be cutting it here, we'll be cutting it here. This will give you a linear relationship, this will give you a quadratic in shear force. It'll give you a cubic in bending moment. You take your calculator, tiny digits, start punching it in. By the end of that, the world would have ended. So, this is much better, okay? This is much better, much more elegant. We are using our mind, we are using math. Bending moment diagram is likewise the same, but I have a special event taking place at this point. So I have to mark that as a special point in the bending moment curve. So here are my distances, zero. This is the point E, which is at a distance of 5.86 feet. Then this is where I end up being 6 feet. And this is the end of the day. Okay, so these are my lines of interest. And the idea is this, in the bending moment diagram, I don't have a bending moment here, I don't have a bending moment here, a couple moment there, so I end up at zero, I start at zero. So those are fixed in at the beginning of my calculations itself. Then all I have to do is the following. Okay, from the beginning of the beam all the way to the point E, what's going to be my bending moment value? It's going to be the area under the triangle portion, okay, which is this triangle here. So this area is half 150 times 5.86, uh, not 150, I'm sorry, 878.6, apologies, times 5.86, and this value ends up being the following, 2,576. Pound feet. So this is going to be the maximum value of the bending moment at the point E. So at E, 2,756 pound feet, which is nothing but the area under the shear force time. How do I go from 0 to point E where the maximum moment occurs is by looking at the shear force value. The shear force value is positive because it's above the positive x-axis, but it's decreasing. So my slope is going to be positive for the bending moment, but it's going to decrease all the way to a value of 0 at the point E, because my shear force value is 0 at that point. Okay, so I come up in a, and this uh, shear force is changing linearly, so the bending moment is going to be a quarter. So I'm going to go in this particular manner. Okay, so this is going to be a quadratic. Bear with me for one last minute. Okay, this is a quadratic. Then from point E to where that small crossing is on the negative side, I will see that this is a negative area. So my slope has to increase because the value of the shear force is increasing negatively. But the slope is also pointing in the decreasing direction. So I'm going to go down a little. Okay, this is at the end of 6 feet. From the end of 6 feet to the start of the triangle distributed load, I will have to go in a linear fashion because my shear force value is a constant. But do I go up or down? I go down because the slope of the bending moment curve is going to be negative and it's equal to the value of the shear force. Okay, so this is going to follow the same slope, starting from the 6 feet distance all the way to the 8 feet. This is a quadratic as well. This is a linear. Okay. And then I go home, because I have to go back to 0, and the question is how do I go home? I see my shear force diagram changing quadratically, so my bending moment has to be cubed. Okay. Then, Slope of the bending moment diagram, it is increasing. OK? 
Okay? It is increasing but coming to zero. So how do I do that? E is by drawing it in this particular manner. Okay? So this is going to be a cubic of increasing slope. Okay? There is no discontinuity here, so this, this has to be a little smooth. Okay, so there is no discontinuity here. Here is my bending moment diagram. And one very last thing before we leave. The maximum value of the shear force is 878.6 at x is equal to 0. V max is that value at x is equal to 0. P. Now watch this. The location of where the maximum bending stress occurs is not at x is equal to 0. It is actually at x is equal to 5.86 feet. So it is possible that if the beam is breaking, it could be breaking either at the x is equal to 0 location due to high shear stresses or at x is equal to 5.86 due to high bending stresses. Okay, so last thing I want to write, m max, 2,756 foot pounds.